and welcome! My name is Eva and let's continue our Nabla adventure with Read My Mind palette. So just quick reminder that I already tested this whole palette. I already used all 16 shades that are inside in my first video. So if you by any chance haven't seen that video, I leave this video also here. You can find it on my channel. I tested eight shades on my left eye and eight shades on my right eye. And in my previous video, I applied whole row sage on my eyelid. So if you're interested, then check it out. <laughs> In today's video I'm going to apply whole row scarlet on my mm, maybe right eye and I also going to use first quad so this one this and this quad I'm going to apply on my left eye and on both eyes I'm going to do spotlight or halo eye and I'm going to do it in two different ways and also I'm going to tell you some of my techniques you know this will be just spotlight tutorial <laughs> and because I'm going to do two eyes separately with different colors I can give you more techniques and show you just more ways how to do it okay I'm going to apply my P. Louise base zoom you in and we can start okay let's do this in this palette there is matte beige so I'm going to use it why not I don't count it actually as eyeshadow is just something that helps me with um, keeping my underbrow area more clean more clear also and just better blending towards my brow it's of course additional step and you don't need to do it sometimes with spotlight I like to also apply a little of this beige eyeshadow here in my inner part but not in my inner corner so not here but more like on the bridge of my nose just because it will be also a little bit easier to do this spot here more darker to not transfer it much on your nose basically spotlight is like two matte shades darker one and medium or just lighter one. If you have three eyeshadows, light, medium, dark, then of course you can use three eyeshadows. For example, first dark, then medium, and then super light. Or you can use medium and light and then add a little bit dark spots just in your corners. And you can start from your darker shades or medium to light, or you can just start from the, the lightest shade and then medium and dark. I'm going to start on this side from the lightest shade. So on this side I'm going to use row scarlet, I'm going to use this shade, shade number two. You can already apply this shade in your corners and then blend them into the bridge, but I'm going to start just with the bridge and blending this color towards my corners and then I'm going to apply darker shade just for my corners. In both situations, no matter if you start from the darkest shades or the lightest shades, I'm going to use my sandwich technique, so just going back and forward between two shades. So creating this bridge, I most of the time start in the middle and just from this middle, I'm blending to the left and right side with little circles and just scratching surface of your eyelid. And everything what I do, I do in my crease and above my crease especially it is very important if you have hooded eyes and gently I'm starting to blend also up with spotlight I rather to keep this round shade than winged one but it's up to you do what you like the most so just blend and maybe add this shade until you'll be satisfied with blending and pigmentation you can also go back to your matte beige. So here is also sandwich technique to just clean this underbrow area. And if you blend too much and you mute too much of this medium shade, this brown or whatever, this shade that you use to create your bridge, 
then you can of course go back to this brush or even add some of this color and blend this area again. If you want to have spotlight on both of your eyelids, so not only on upper one but also on lower one, then for sure you want to add this shade also on your lower eyelid here, but I'm not going to do it because I rather to have this spotlight on my lower eyelid created by shimmers than matte shades, but it's all up to you. So now I'm taking shade this one, number four. This is the darkest shade in this row and also it's pretty dark shade in general in this palette. So normally I would use some medium shade and then at the end this gorgeous scarlet shade, but you can use only two shades. It's nothing wrong with that. I only don't take it a lot because like I said, I don't have medium shade here. Like this is the lightest matte shade I'm going to use on this eye. So because of that, I'm going to use just little amount of the darkest shade and spread it evenly around and then add pigmentation only in the corners. So I'm starting from my corners and I'm starting to spread this shade onto this bridge. If you want to do it in this other order, so first with the dark corners and then bridge, then you would just apply this dark shade and then blend it with this shade that you use to create your bridge. But in this situation, I need to blend evenly this dark shade onto this bridge shade, let's say. Now I'm going to create more pigmented spots, but I keep this concentration of color in one place. So here is the biggest concentration and I just spread this shade around and I also do it on my lower eyelid so only corners now is it technique better than to start with the darkest shades and go to the lightest one well it depends what you like because you can tell that my lower eyelid right now is more pigmented than upper one and it's because I applied this shade on my lower eyelid just on base and here I apply it a little bit on this medium shade so obviously you need to build this pigmentation now the sandwich so I'm going back to my bridge shade and I'm starting to blend it with the corners better is tapping but blending is also good sides to sides little moves or little circles just to work on very small spaces and then I go back to my dark shade and I even add more although you can only use your dirty brush because always something left on your brush and with gentle tapping I again spread this shade around and I'm going back to brush I used for the bridge shade I'm not adding more now this time and again gently blending this way back and forward you're gonna achieve blending the most flawless you can always also with this outer corner and outer edge just take your beige eyeshadow and blend here you can correct this edge with concealer later if you do eyes before face or just with beige eyeshadow just to make this eye look more round and now time for shimmers you have three options how to do your shimmer game in spotlight first is to do cut crease or not you can just make a cut crease only here on the middle but it's not necessary and you can for sure cut your crease with your eyeshadows just with more stiff brush or you don't even need stiff brush you need fluffy brush and just apply your shimmer and not blend it you can blend it so it will be just nicely diffused nicely blended with matte shades and also you can use only one shimmer shade or two and I'm going to show you how to use two shimmer shades first I apply number three eyeshadow so 
this copper shade and I'm just applying this shade all over this middle part of my eyelid everywhere where I don't have any eyeshadow but also a little bit on the sides on this scarlet shade with gentle tapping going up and if you have hooded eyes above your crease so you would always see this gorgeous shimmer on your eyes with tapping I diffuse this shade so I'm not cutting my crease I don't do this fake cut crease and also if you want to apply two shimmers you can do something like I do right now so just cover my whole eyelid with this shimmer or you can just leave a space for lighter eyeshadow on the middle and the same on my lower eyelid now I want to blend this shimmer shade with those mats around so this brush I used for this bridge shade and gently I'm not adding any shade I'm just gently with gentle circles blend this shimmer and then I'm going to shade or brush that I used for corners and try to cover the edges with this shimmer I'm not adding more eyeshadow although you can but like I said it's always something left on this brush so there is no need to really add more of this eyeshadow now I'm taking shade number one so the lightest one in this row and also one of the lightest shade in this palette and with smaller brush I'm going to apply this shade on the middle so I need to look straight and seek for your middle very middle part of your eyelid so exactly this spot where you have your pupil and here you apply this lighter shade it won't be unfortunately very very visible on this copper shade but such a subtle differences are also very nice and the technique here is to start from your lash line blend it towards your brow apply as much as you need to make it visible and then gently blend side to side very gently here you can do sandwich but it's not necessary especially with this kind of shades because if you would for example apply blue shimmer shade and then on the middle gold shade then of course this blending would indeed need a little sandwich situation because you would have a nice a green shade between blue and gold but these two shades are still nude shades and are not super different like copper and gold so you don't need such a great blending just gentle one in the same situation I'm going to do on my lower eyelid there you go I hope you can see it this is like making this makeup a little bit duochrome it's not super obvious difference it's only gentle one uh, with different colors it would be more obvious but you know it's not about obvious difference it's about makeup techniques all right so this is whole row scarlet and now I'm going to work on my left eye with the first quad so two first shades from the row scarlet and also two first shades from the row rose on this eye I'm going to do my spotlight like I most of the time do so I'm going to do it totally differently than on my right eye although these techniques I also use in my makeup so it's not like I'm doing something um, that aren't in my comfort zone let's say on this side I'm going to start with the darkest shade and with the outer corners not the bridge but first the same situation so matte shade matte beige and also on the bridge of my nose just in case matte beige is your friend remember that so I'm going to use 
this quad. So the darkest shade here is this shade, so shade that I used for the bridge on my right eye. So I'm starting with it and I'm applying it in my outer corner and also inner one on both eyelids, so upper and lower. And I already start to build pigmentation, so the biggest concentration of color will be in my corners and then with gentle tapping and tapping and scratching I spread this shade around. And here as you can tell I'm spreading this shade more far than here because here I already had this bridge shade so I blended the scarlet shade only to blend it with this bridge shade and here I'm going to do this opposite way and now I'm taking shade that I'm going to use as my bridge shade this is shade 6 so this shade right here but the technique here is the same so I'm starting in the middle above my crease and I blend this shade towards my corners. Here unfortunately we have situation that I don't like in this particular palette. So this shade that I'm applying right now, so shade 6, is very similar to the shade that is above it, so shade 2. So I don't think you'll be able to see the difference so much, but what can I do? I promise to test every single row and every single shade, but unfortunately these two shades, well, are just too much similar to each other. So here is the same technique, above my crease, I'm blending towards corners and a little, little bit up with gentle circles. The biggest pigmentation of color is here, so on this bridge directly. And here also I can go back to matte beige and just blend my underbrow area and again go back to my bridge shade and blend here again. So again sandwich technique. And by the way I haven't <laughs> I haven't heard someone calling this sandwich. I call it sandwich. <laughs> just in case. Just in case this is not professional nomenclature. <laughs> I only call it sandwich. I'm pretty satisfied with this blending, it's okay. It's okay especially for the fact that I am not used to recording my left eye. <laughs> so now again I'm going back to previous shade, so shade I used for my corners. There is a slight difference between these two shades. This one is more rosy, this one is more brick-ish let's say, but it's only a slight difference in undertones, I don't see like very obvious difference and I don't think you would see like very obvious difference. I feel like this is the same situation like with those two shades uh, from the newest Carnival palette, where there are two shades that are different on swatch, different in palette, but on eyes they look <laughs> almost exactly the same and here I feel like this is the same situation. Like these shades look different in palette, uh, even on uh, swatches they looked different, but on eyes I don't feel like the difference is super visible. Well, but that's not important, important is that this eye is ready for some shimmers. So I'm taking, in my opinion, the most beautiful shade in this palette, so number 5. So this one, this gorgeous, I don't know, duochrome at least. And I'm going to apply it on the middle. Helping myself with finger, just because this eyeshadow has so many gorgeous particles that with finger it's just a little bit quicker. And then blending with brush and here I'm not going to blend it so I do this fake cut crease so if you have brush like this so just need to be a little bit round and a little bit flat but still can be fluffy you just apply 
this eyeshadow, let's say like cut crease, but you don't blend it up. You can blend it to sides, but you don't blend it up. If you want to make more obvious fake cut crease, then you can always use brush like this. So brush more like for cut crease, for concealer, and just really make this line more even, even less diffuse, even less blended. But I'm going to blend sides, so I'm going back to this shade I used for the corners. I applied this shade also on my lower eyelid and the last shade that remained is the shade number one, so this shade right here, and I'm going to apply it in my inner corner. With sport light you don't need to apply anything in your inner corner because it's more like smoky eyes or just normal eye contouring, then you start from the inner corner with the lightest shades and toward the darkest one in the outer corner, but you can do it. It's not like something illegal. Listen, this is makeup. There is no rules actually in makeup. You just do what you like. So I'm going to apply it in my inner corner, but not like here, because here I have this dark shade more like closer to my nose. And also I like to do a little, a little like, let's call it comet tail. Sometimes I like to do it. It just makes this makeup a little more interesting. And second makeup, my left eye is finished. Like I said, I would also add some dark shade here in my outer corners, because for me at least, this... Uh, well, this spotlight is a little bit too light and I would love to have a little bit darker outer corners, maybe not as much dark as here, but I would love to use like little amount of this reddish shade just like in my corners, like little, little spots to make it a little bit more spicy. But I'm not going to do it because this is to show you the potential of this palette and to play with it, so this is Row Scarlet and this is the first quote that you can find in the palette. Of course, in the moment I'll show you more proper close-ups with lashes and everything, so I'll be right back. Referring to my video about how to match your blush and lipstick to your makeup on my face right now shade Snapdragon Everlasting Blush by KVD and also by KVD uh, Vinyl Lip Cream in shade Dahlia. This shade is, uh, well, is buildable so I can achieve such a deep dark color on my lips, but Let's say that these shades right now, so my lipstick and this blush match to each other not super greatly. I match my blush to a little bit my eye makeup, actually both <laughs> eye makeups, and then I match lipstick to, let's say, blush. So this is like the middleman <laughs> between my eye makeup and my lip product. Okay, that's like side note. <laughs> On my right eye, I have all four shades from the row Scarlet, 
in my corners as my bridge shade and in the middle so uh, this shade as my shimmer shade and on this shade on the middle this light shade and on my left eye I have the first quad so this right here two shades I used for like eye contouring and also this gorgeous this shade I have on my whole eyelid and uh, this shade in my inner corner but I added very slight point of uh, highlighter and also I add a little highlighter uh, under my brows just because these eye makeups were a little bit sad without inner corner you know the sparkle like this shade is gorgeous but it's not so crazy blinding as highlighter I am a little bit disappointed I haven't noticed this in my first video with this palette that these two shades well, they are pretty similar to each other. Let me know which makeup you like more, only Scarlet Row or maybe the first quad. So I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial of uh, how to do spotlight slash hello eye with different techniques and I hope that you learned something from this video or at least uh, get inspired by something in the next videos still I have this row to test to test to use this row to use so row honey row rosé and also this this and this quad so still we have some shades to play with. That will be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, don't forget about your precious like. And as always, I love you very, very much. And I see you soon. Bye.